Hey, what's up, everybody? It's -a me, Moko. Uh, I have been off the scene for a while. I haven't been playing much of Payday. Um, but, you know, uh, I saw that they brought back the first World Bank in Crime Fest Day 6, which is a good thing. Now, if only they remove the microtransactions, you know, or just like have it there and make use of the offshore, that would be great and would make it a little bit okay. But anyways, um, like I said, First World Bank, very nice uh, attempt to bringing back the classic. They said, I, I haven't played Loud, but they said that Loud plays off the same, exactly the same, uh, which is good. So you get the same fun. And there's Overdrill. Overdrill is still here. You get uh, Mass Murder. Even though people say that it's easier uh, here than Payday the Heist, see... What I think is it's easier here because you have skills and abilities and guns that were not available in the first payday. So if you try to play without those skills, like try to match it with payday the heist, you'd get about the same difficulty. That's my opinion. Anyways, so I tried the stealth. The stealth is really easy um, with low detection. There's not, it's not very complicated, it's straightforward. Um, so I thought, why not try 75 detection? Since I, I haven't made a video for you guys, so I thought, yeah, let's do a 75 detection first world bank, and that would be a crazy video. So here's me doing it. Um, there are certain things I tried to focus on, you know, I tried not to kill any guards in this area, just the camera guard, so I can move around freely because, you know. If I had 75 detection and I'm running around in the halls here, we'll get a lot of beeping and could get detected. So I uh, take out the camera guard and then I'll have only two guards patrolling uh, at the top floor, which you can, you gotta be careful of them because they can spy you from weird angles. Anyway, so after that, um, I'm, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna run you through like the, the steps that you have to do when you're stealthing. So first thing you gotta find the manager. Um, he has a key card. Uh, he can be in his office. He can be. Uh, there's a lot of locations. I'll probably make a tutorial video to show the manager locations. And as you can see, I killed civilians here. I don't really care for them. So I'm sorry if you're one of those. Don't kill civilians. But I tend to murder them. I have a reputation for murdering civilians. So there you go. I'm gonna put a warning also in the video that many civilians were murdered during the making of this video, so nobody cries on me. Anyways, so you get the key card from the manager, and then you go to the server room, whatever it is, you have to disable the metal detectors, and that's by rewiring three boxes, kind of like how the diamond house works, but it's only three boxes. One box is in the room, and two boxes are around. It's always the top floor. There's no boxes at the bottom floor. It's always top floor. I'll show locations in the tutorial and everything as well. So after that, um, the insider contacts you. As you'll see, she's going to tell you that she wants you to find a code, a four-digit code, because she can't use hers. It'll get her in trouble. Uh, and this is what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to find the code. After you find the code, she walks to the vault area where she um, helps you enter. Uh, she talks to the two guards there, makes them go away, and then you're free to enter. When you enter that area, the vault area, you need to know that there are three patrolling guards on Deathwish. I don't know the other difficulties, but I know three patrolling guards on Deathwish. And this is why I don't kill anybody outside. I try to reserve my kills for that area because it's... I mean, you can do it, but it's very hard to maneuver around because... Guards, they tend to stand at points where, like, it's kind of like a crossfire. So if you kill this guy, if you, this guy spots you and you hide in some area, the other one is going to spot you. So there's no place to hide. They kind of corner you. So that's why I take them out. Of course, there is a camera guard, camera guy, sorry, camera guy in that area. He's a civilian, so you don't need to worry about pagers with him. So... What I do is I basically just rush to him. I take him out. You can break the glass. They don't get alerted. I don't know if they're going to change that. I don't know if it's a bug, but 
I don't really care if they get alerted or not because I'm going to be killing them anyways. But you got to be careful so you don't get yourself into trouble. And then that area is completely secured for you to walk around and move the bags. So that's basically what I did. Move the bags, throw them in the vent, and then she's going to walk you to the exit, which is basically the same exit as the loud. You go from the back, but I don't, I don't know if you see for it like the old one or not, but here she opens a door for you, a doorway to the, to the sewers or basement or whatever, and you escape. So yeah, that's that's it. That's what I did. That's how I did it. Um, it was annoying. There were many times where I was almost done, but a stupid guard spots me from I don't know where. I feel that the detection has been tampered with. Um, sometimes detection goes really fast, and sometimes it's very slow. So I don't know what they've done, but I hope it's fixed. Although I don't think it's going to be. But I hope you enjoy the video. Um, sorry for not uploading anything for a while, but I'm kind of trying to find a new game. I've started playing um, Warhammer Times End Vermintide. That's a really, really good co-op game, and I'm getting into it. But when Rainbow Six comes out, I'll be streaming that more often, making videos about that. I'll try to make reviews as well and whatnot. Hopefully, um, Payday Devs Overkill, you know, starts to consider what the community says and finds, you know, workaround so everybody's happy. Maybe then I'll come back to making videos again. But thank you so much. I uh, appreciate it. I try to stream every day. So at the bottom, you'll find the link to my Twitter, to my Twitch. And uh, enjoy. Here's some music. <laughs>